Alrighty, so as far as what the Bulldogs need to do tomorrow to put themselves in position to play a winner-take-all game three, plain and simple, Georgia has to stay within its approach and it cannot make the game bigger than it is. As I talked about earlier, NC State, what did they do? They put the ball in play, they used bunts, they put pressure on Georgia's defense, and Georgia's defense made mistakes and it scored runs for NC State. And I'm not saying Georgia should take that exact same approach tomorrow because they are a power, because it is a power hitting team. However, put the ball in play and good things will happen. We talked about it after that Georgia Tech game and today you saw it a little bit after that second inning. Wes Johnson even said as much after the game. He said that he felt he had guys that were up there trying to hit 10 run home runs. And you can't do that. You cannot get up to the plate and swing for the fences, play long ball, play hero ball. Because when you do that, your strikeout rate is going to go up because you're going to start chasing pitches, trying to completely change the trajectory of a game. And then the pitch count of the opposing pitcher is going to go down. And both of those put you in a bad scenario in game two. And secondly, Leighton Finley has got to calm his nerves tomorrow. Wes Johnson mentioned after the regional that he was a little bit nervous. It was his first postseason start. However, Johnson said he had a heart to heart with him after that seat or after that game. And he told him, I'm going to need three more outs from you this series. Brought him in against Georgia Tech, bases loaded, pressure filled situation, and he delivered. So he's got to carry that mindset into tomorrow. He cannot think about what's on the line. He cannot think about the implications of the game. It's still the same 27 outs. And I know this is a lot easier said than done, but it's still the same diamond that Georgia is 32 and 6, I believe. Yes, 32 and 6 in this season. And so he's really just got to use that to his advantage. He's got to stay within his game plan, stay within his approach not do pitches that he typically wouldn't do just because he feels like he has to win the game similar to the hitters and if Georgia does that and Wes Johnson always says do not hit the panic button if Georgia does not hit the panic button and gets back to playing their loose fun free focused style of baseball I believe good things will happen for them tomorrow so game two is set for noon against NC State if Georgia loses it ends its season if Georgia wins it sets up a winner take all game three on Monday